Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we have another magic yo-yo. And it's the magic yo-yo 7075 Wolfgang. This is the second yo-yo in the Wolfgang series. The original had a 6061 body. And yeah, I saw that T from Tokyo yo really liked that one, so I thought let's give it a try. Although this is the newer version. Firstly, the specs of the yo-yo. Um, on the box, which is a nice box by the way, nice solid. Um, specs on the back are slightly off. I think they are the specs of the original Wolfgang and they use the same box. But I did measure the width of the yo-yo kind of accurately and it was 43.5 millimeters. so I think the specs on yo-yo Sam are pretty good. So going through those specs, it is 43.2 millimeters wide diameter 55.95 millimeters and a weight of 64 grams. The yo-yo feels real nice, quite premium, pretty smooth. Mine came with slight nail vibe, so real happy with the quality. And also it sounds pretty cool. The bearings got this kind of high-pitched sound. I don't know, sounds, sounds nice. And for me, I like the sound of the bearing, so that I guess changes how I feel about the yo-yo as well. So yeah, real nice. So yeah, this yo-yo is kind of like an organic shape with like a step up there and then the rim. Um, I don't normally like organics but this is real nice. Uh, the weight distribution makes it feel pretty powerful. Uh, it's 64 grams, but it's got some real power and stability from that. So it's real nice. But this yo-yo play is quite light, but it's still got enough power to do all your tricks. Uh, let's see, I'll just do a really long combo. Uh, what am I doing? Real long combo. Not sure what I'm doing now. Anyway, and still going. So, real nice. Super powerful for like an organic shape. So, yeah, quite like that. As for the grind surface, it's nice. I think it's been blasted some sort of matte finish. Pretty good. Did it for slightly too long. For finger spins, it's got the laser engraving, so you can, I guess, wear that down. Kind of like, I believe that any yo really can finger spin. Uh, I just need some practice. Of course, it won't be a good one to learn on. Um, it's alright, it's kind of like a yo-yo factory shutter. So yeah, can finger spin, definitely. I wanted to talk a bit about quality. Um, I guess what it means to be premium. I know a lot of people, especially in the Western world, have a bias against Magic Yo-Yo, seeing them only as like a budget yo-yo kind of company. But you gotta put things into context, I guess. Uh, those $10 yo-yos, they were designed to be budget and designed so that a lot of people could have them. Any higher level of quality control, um, it'll bring up the cost significantly. Um, I just challenge anyone to make a yo-yo this good for $10. A lot of companies won't be able to do that. But saying that, I still feel the Magic Yo-Yo N12 and Y01 play a lot better than a lot of more expensive yo-yos. I think that Magic Yo-Yo has really stepped up in their quality control over the last few years, especially uh, opening their market up to the Western world. And I think it started with the Skyva in 2016. This yo-yo was real nice, very well made, super nice yo-yo. And since then, Magic Yo-Yo have come out with the Cut Fin, the Wolfgang, stuff like that, and also collaborations like the Vapor Motion, and also get excited for the variant. Magic Yo-Yo's collaboration with Offset Yo-Yo's, super cool. 
So with all these higher and magic yo-yos coming out with their quality control, the ones that you can buy in yo-yo stores, not just from AliExpress, um, I believe that their quality control is on par with bigger companies like Duncan and Yo-Yo Factory. And I'm not hating on them, I'm just uh, saying that Magic Air has improved up to their standard. Um, and I do, I do like Yo-Yo Factory a lot and I think I've had a good sample size to compare to and I just feel like holding the higher end Magic Airs really feel comparable. And I think if you took away Magic Air's budget line and I guess the bias against them, I feel that you would possibly even think that Magic Air is more premium. So that's how premium I think that the Wolfgang feels to me. Um, but of course every company will have its hits and misses with quality control so you may not get one as smooth as mine. But you know, this is what you can get. So that was a bit of a long discussion on Magic Yo Yo as a company, but those are my thoughts. Um, super impressed with the Wolfgang and looking forward to more of Magic Yo Yo's premium line. Yeah, real nice. Anyway, that's it for this video. Any comments, let me know down below. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!